領域展開自閉言論化Hey guys, so today, we have a new collection for our domain command creation. Although I only made one domain expansion before. So anyway, for today we have the self-embodiment of perfection domain expansion. And in case you haven't watched yet the Jujutsu Kaisen anime, this domain is from Mahito, a malevolent cursed spirit from that anime. And just a simple description of his domain. He can easily manipulate the soul of anyone that are inside his domain. With a few exceptions, based on anime. But since we are in Minecraft, this domain guarantee the victory of the user. Any entities inside this domain will surely be killed regardless of their hit points. Even players, they don't stand a chance when you use it on them. And by the way, in case you noticed, I tried my best to make it look like Mahito's domain. But like I said before, I'm terrible at designing stuff. So please don't bother that much about it. Anyway, let's proceed now to the commands. Oh, before we go to the commands, Let's start first by building the domain structure. For the commands I used, we need to build the domain in three layers. And this size is fit to affect all entities within your 20 radius when you activate the domain. Just build a circular structure like this. Here's the size for your reference. It's 42 by 11 by 42 blocks. And about its height, instead of 11 blocks tall, just make it reach up to 10 blocks only. Since the one block extra will be filled with structure void. And about the inside, just make it empty. By the way, this is the first layer of the domain. It might be hard to understand, but if you want, you can just download the structure files for this, starting August 12th. You can download these from my Discord server. Also if you noticed, although I made the structures to be circular, make sure that you fill the outside with structure void. This is the second layer of the domain. Just to remind you again, just make the inside empty. Don't put any structure void here. And this is the last layer of the domain. So yeah, just make sure that the outside is filled with structure void. You see that borderline. And about this armor stand, just put one on top of each, and make sure they are close to the center of the structure. This armor stand is not special, they are just a normal armor stand, without tags or name. So yeah, let's save them in a structure block, with a name domain underscore layer 1. Domain underscore layer 2. Domain underscore layer 3. 
Alright, after doing this, let's proceed now to the commands. Let's start by sneak detection. So when we sneak while holding an ender eye, this command will disable our movement. Next, let's add the Mojito tag to us. Next, let's put the hand seal animation, well I used armor stand on her pose for this one. Once our movement has been disabled, this animation will be played. After that, let's put an activation sound effect. I used Enderman Stair Sound for this. This sound will be heard by players within the domain. Next, in case you will be using this on survival mode, let's add a resistance effect for you. This is very important, since you must not die while the domain is active, or else, an unexpected error could occur. Now let's add a new tag to us, to indicate that we activated the domain. Alright, let me test it for you. Oh by the way, please I do not recommend that you also test it not until we're done with all of the commands. Let me be the one to test it for you. Yeah, that's the progress for now. Next we need a command to detect if we have the activate underscore domain tag. Alright, now we need to save first the terrain on where we will deploy our domain. After we receive the activate underscore domain tag, the terrain within us will be saved. At this point, since the terrain has been saved, we can now deploy the first layer of our domain. When deploying the first layer, it will take 3 seconds before it is fully deployed. Now let's deploy the second layer. Now the second layer will take only 2 seconds to be fully deployed. Now for the last layer.
For the third layer, it will only take one second to be fully deployed. Alright, now that the domain has been fully deployed, we need now to add a tag to the entities within our domain. So all entities within our domain once it is fully deployed, we'll get the in underscore the underscore domain tag. Now let's see. Oh yeah, I forgot. I'll be stuck with this animation for a while. But that's fine. Oh wait. Something's wrong with the second layer. There it is. I misspelled degrees. My bad. Let me try again. There you go. Looks like it's fine now. Alright. Now we need a command to detect if there's an entity with an underscore the underscore domain tag. Now since we will be using an animation controller here, let's set up first the default animation for entities with an underscore the underscore domain tag. By the way, if you're wondering what's the function of the animation controller, or this command, you can check the full explanation from this video. I'll leave the link for that in the description. So, back to the commands. After this, let's create a transfiguration objective. We need this to randomize the animation for our targets. And for this tutorial, I will be using five different animations. This command will give a random transfiguration score from 1 to 5 for each entities within the domain tag. Now, let's put our first animation for them. When the entity got one transfiguration score, they will do the armadillo roll-up animation. Now for the second random animation. So if they got to transfiguration score, they will play the Enderman scary face animation. Now for third random animation. Now for entities with transfiguration score of 3, they will play the fox sleep animation. And for the fourth random animation.
For entities with Transfiguration score of 4, they will play the Shulker Bullet Move animation. Now for the last random animation. Now if an entity got Transfiguration score of 5, they will play the Baby Hoglin animation. Alright, let me just double check it again. Alright, looks like everything is good. Let me test it now with test subjects. I forgot to activate the 12th command. Alright, let's see again. There you go. They look cute. Alright, now let's prepare the entity explosion. Let's start by making the entities looks like bloated. Alright, now after 2 seconds within the fully deployed domain, they will begin to swell. Now let's add the explosion particle. After one second of being swell, this particle command will be activated. Now let's add the explosion sound effect. Now alongside with the explosion particle, this explosion sound will also be played. At this point, we can kill now all entities within the domain. So with the explosion particle and sound, all entities within the domain tag will be killed. And when that happened, we can now change our own animation to normal. So when all entities within the domain has been killed, this default animation will be played. Alright, testing time again. Oh wait, the explosion particle didn't come out. I see, it should be huge underscore explosion underscore emitter. My bad, kindly just check the 21st command guys. Alright. Good. 
All right, we can revert now the terrain to normal. So after the entities within the domain has been killed, the terrain will be back to normal now. Then we can now remove the activate underscore domain tag to ourself. Now once the domain has been fully lift, the tag will be removed. Then we can now remove the movement restriction to us. All right, let's see now. Now we can activate the domain after the domain has been lifted. Alright, and for the very last command, this is optional. If you will be using this creation in survival mode, then this last command is needed. The function of this is to prevent the user from leaving the place while the domain is active. So it is important that the player will not gonna be knocked back while in survival mode. This command will prevent any error during survival mode. Alright, we're done now with the commands. Let's do now the final testing. Let me first put some blocks here, to show that the exact terrain will be back after the domain. About the last command, if you will gonna do that, make sure also to set the command feedback to false. Now for the final testing. Alright, that's it. Bye.